I am Santosh Gaidanka. Today I am teaching you operation research in that one sequencing. In the sequencing, processing of n job through two machine. This is the problem. The problem is a book binder has one printing press, one book binding machine, and manuscript of seven different books. The time required for performing the printing and binding operation for different books are shown in the below. We have to determine the optimum sequence, total elapsed time, idle time for the printing time and binding time. Now these are in vertical, we are going to write in the horizontal form. Book or jobs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now write the printing time. Printing time here. Printing time in terms of hour 20, 90, 80, 20, 120, 15, 65. Now binding time. Binding time. In terms of our 25, 60, 75, 30, 90, 35, 50. Now we have to obtain the optimum sequence. Now how to obtain the optimum sequence? You have to draw a row of a single row containing seven columns because there are seven jobs here. I write this side as a printing time. Printing time. Time this side and binding time this side. Show the arrow in this way. Show the arrow in this way. Now, now select the smallest among the printing and the binding value. The smallest among the printing and the binding is this is the smallest here 15. Round it out. Round it out. Now it is 15. It is nothing but 6. It is a printing. Therefore you have to start from if it is a printing you have to start this side. If it is binding you have to start from the right side. Or the printing you have to start from the left side. For binding you have to start from the right side. Now it is 15, 6, it is a printing. Therefore write here 6th job and cut this job and cut this one. The next smallest is 20 and 20. There are two 20s. The see the job. The job one is performed first and simultaneously see the binding time. If the binding time is 30 here the binding time is 20. Therefore you have to select this 20. Now, it is a printing time. Therefore, you have to start from left. Write the job one. Next. Next is smallest is 20. Again, it is a printing. Cut it out. Write 4. Write 4. Next is smallest, you have to select. Next is smallest. 90, 80, 120, 60. 50 is the smallest. Round it out 50. But it is a binding time. You have to start from right side. Right 7 here. And cut this part. Next 90, 80, 120, 90, 60 is there. But it is a binding time. Binding time. You have to start from right side. Right 2 here. Cut this now. Now among the 3 and 5 job, which one is the smallest? 75 is the smallest. Again you have to start from right side. Right 3. And default it will be 5. This is the optimum sequence. This is the optimum sequence. Or optimal sequence.
this is the optimal sequence next you have to find out total elapsed time how to find out draw the box here as per the number of job write here job or books here printing printing time or machine one you can write it out binding binding time in terms of hour in out in out write the sequence 6 1 6 1 4 5 3 2 7 7 now job 6 it is a beginning it is a first job therefore the in time will be 0 out time will be 0 plus the printing time or 6 it is 15 plus 15 right 15 the answer is 15 in time for the binding is 15 15 but out time will be 15 plus 35 this is the out time for binding time 15 plus 35 answer is 15 next for job 1 write 15 as it is here next for 1 this is the 1 for printing time is 20 here 15 plus 20 answer is 35 now see here you have to select the larger value here the 50 is the larger value select this here and you have to write here 50 now 50 plus for 1 what is binding time 25 25 75 is the answer now here again 35 write 35 here 35 plus for 4 what is binding time so printing time 20 20 answer is 55 now see here 55 is greater or 75 is greater 75 is greater write 75 here now 75 plus for 4 what is binding time 30 30 answer is 105 now 55 write as it is here 55 plus for fifth job the printing time is 120 120 here oh, i can cut this one 120 175 is the answer now compare 175 is greater or 105 is greater 175 is greater write 175 here the greater value has to be written here now 175 plus binding time that is 90 answer is 265 now 175 right here 175 for job 3 80 for job 3 it is 80 plus 80 answer 255 now 265 is greater or 255 265 is greater write 265 now 265 plus for 3 binding time is 75 binding time is 75 75 answer is 340 answer is 340 for 2 write 255 as it is here now 255 plus for 2 what is the printing time 90 90 answer is 345 now 340 is greater or 345 is greater? 345 is greater therefore write 345 345 plus binding time for the 2 is 60 answer is 405 now 345 right here 345 for 7th job what is time 65 
plus 65 answer is 410 now, now 4, 405 among 405 and 410 the 410 is larger write 410 here 410 plus binding value is 50 binding value is 50 here plus 50 the total answer is 460 total answer is 460 460 now you have to find out elapsed time you have to find out the elapsed time here total elapsed time total elapsed time which is nothing but this value this is the total elapsed time that is 460 hours now idle time for the idle time for printing idle time for the printing how to find out just add this part that is 20 plus 90 plus 80 plus 20 plus 120 plus 15 plus 65 you will get a value as 110 oh, sorry 410 you will get the value as 410 and add this one 25 plus 60 plus 75 plus 30 plus 90 35 and 50 you will get the value as 365 365 now for idle time 465 minus 410 or you can consider from here also 465 minus 410 410 the answer is 50 hours 50 hours now idle time for binding idle time for binding idle time for binding is equal to 460 minus 365 the answer is 95 hours 95 hours in this way you have to solve the problem i am satosh gadankar thank you very much